Hi guys, today at Cake Advisor we're going to show you how to make this very special carousel cake. So let's get started. And we will start with the carousel top because we need to make it in advance and let it dry. First I cut out two 6 inch cardboard circles and glued them together and put some tape on the sides to cover and seal the cardboard. Next I cut out an 8 inch circle out of a very thick paper and divided it into 8 triangles. Next cut one of the lines, put one triangle on top of the other and glue it to each other to create a cone. And last but not least, cut out a triangle, same size as the dome, and we're going to use this to cut out our fondant pieces later. Now about the horses, there are two options, you can draw it by yourself and cut out a fondant, or you can use a silicone mold. So to assemble the top, we need to make our cone and glue it to the cardboard circles. I recommend using a hot glue gun because it dries fast and it is a very good glue. Next, put some hot glue on the cardboard circle and glue the cone on top of it. So after we make sure it's glued together and in place, go around with the hot glue gun proper, just to secure it properly. So now our base for the top is ready and we are moving on to the fondant. Roll out the fondant to approximately 3 to 4 mm thick and cut out three white triangles and three pink triangles or whatever color you like. Next, we are gluing the fondant triangles to the cone. I'm using fondant glue. To fill the seams between the triangles, I'm using a clay extruder and extruding one long white fondant piece and we're going to place it in between the triangles. Put some edible glue in between the cracks and attach the ropes of fondant in between.
To make the top of the carousel, take a small piece of white fondant, roll it in between your hands into a teardrop shape and glue it to the top. Cut off the excess fondant and we are ready to paint this part with gold luster dust. As I said earlier, for the horses you can use silicone mold or you can make your own. You can find an image online or draw it by yourself. Cut out a stencil out of paper and cut out three fondant horses out of fondant. Roll out the fondant quite thickly for the horses, approximately half centimeter thick. And if you have time, you should let them dry for at least 24 hours and if you don't have time and you didn't make them in advance you can use CMC Tylos powder which hardens the fondant faster. After cutting out the horses, using the veining tool, draw the lines as you draw them on the stencil. While the fondant is still soft, we are taking three lollipop sticks, you can use skewers as well. I am putting the edible glue onto them and pressing the horses onto the lollipop stick. Again, I'm not inserting the lollipop stick into the fondant, I'm just pressing and because the fondant is still soft, the lollipop stick creates an indentation and it will set just like this. To make the saddle, cut out three circles out of pink fondant, I'm using a piping tip, cut it in half, just a little bit above 
the middle line and attach it to the horse. Next we will mix some gold luster dust with food alcohol or with water and paint some of the details with gold. With a very thin brush and black food coloring, draw the eyes. Next step is the cake assembly. This was a three-tiered cake and for the bottom tier I used two eight inches chocolate cake. For the middle tier I used two six inch vanilla cakes. And for the third top tier I used three two and a half inch cakes. By the way, the third tier is optional, you do not have to make it out of cake. You can make a thin cardboard cylinder and use it instead of cake. To fill the cakes I used cream cheese and to level the cakes I used buttercream. So as you can see I played with flavors and you can play with the filling as well. I think when you have a tiered cake it's very nice to play with flavors, you can add some gel food coloring to add some interest to it or you can just leave it plain. So we're basically working at the usual plan, one crumb coat and one clean coat of buttercream to level the cakes. Next, we're going to take our white fondant and roll it out to cover the cakes.
Now, as you can see, I'm not covering the bottom tier all the way down because we're going to make ruffles out of fondant and this is a great way to save some fondant because it's going to be covered anyway. Another very important thing is when you have tiered cake is to insert dowels into the cake to support the weight. If you will not do this, the cake may fall apart upon the weight of the other cakes. So you can use skewers, you can use bubble straws or you can use lollipop sticks. After we've finished assembling the cake, we can insert our ponies into the cake, make sure they're in the same height and same spacing. Next, I'm cutting out a flower shape out of pink fondant to write the names or the age. And I'm using a large piping tip, this is a Russian piping tip, and I'm cutting out circles to make the ruffles. Don't roll the fondant too thick, we need it quite thin, approximately 2-3 two, two to three millimeters thick to create this effect. And now we are taking our circles and we are folding them in half and then again in half and just folding them and open up a little bit. If you feel a little bit too thick, you can always go, go over them with a rolling pin to make them thinner. After we made a bunch, we can attach them at the bottom of the cake. They attach easily to the buttercream, so... To hide the seams in between the cakes, I'm using a medium round piping tip and buttercream and just piping these dots around the cakes.
Now, I didn't film how I made the dolls, but I will leave you a link in the description box down below to the tutorial that I used for making the fondant figures, which are of course optional and the cake looks amazing even without the fondant figures, but I do think that adding a fondant figure in a figure of a child you're making a cake for, it's just taking the cake one step up. And now the finishing touch to our carousel top is to add those half circles. So again, just use a large piping tip and cut out circles, cut them in half and attach them to the top using fondant glue. So here we go, the cake is ready, thank you for watching, let me know in the comments what you think, thumbs up, please subscribe and see you in the next video!